Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about an IELTS speaking part one topic that is going to be used from January till April 2022. And then this topic is also going to be used in the next season uh, from May till August 2022. So the topic is mirrors. Do you often talk about mirrors? Probably not. So this video is going to help you give good answers in IELTS speaking part one if you're going to take it in 2022. So um, before we start uh, looking at the questions, let's look at some topical vocabulary. So if you want to paraphrase mirror, you can say looking a uh, looking glass. There are also some uh, useful collocations like to admire, you, to admire yourself in the mirror, to examine yourself in the mirror, look at yourself or your face in the mirror, or catch sight of somebody or something in the mirror, to do something first thing in the morning. So it might be looking at the mirror, uh, your own reflection in the mirror, family, family heirloom. So this is something that is passed on from generation to generation. Um, Self-conscious or arrogance of a person, uh, people who are full of themselves. So you can mention that people who look at themselves in the mirror um, are too arrogant or the uh, or you could say uh, they are selfish or egotistical. However, you can also say that uh, there is a fine line between arrogance and self-confidence, okay? Then mirrors can be used as decor uh, to create ambience. Uh, and there can also be a compact mirror, magnifying mirror, gilt-framed mirror, that's a nice collocation. And there can be a dressing table, so a table with a mirror. So um, th this is the type of vocabulary that can be used but I'm going to show you how you can use more advanced vocabulary and grammar structures uh, when you talk um, about mirrors. So we're just going to look at a couple of questions. So the first question is, uh, do you enjoy looking at yourself in the mirror? Okay, I'll try to give you a band line answer. So do you enjoy looking at yourself in the mirror? Mm, I do, although I'm not one of those people who are always searching for a mirror. In fact, Having been born a man, I sometimes forget to look at the mirror, which is quite understandable, especially if I wake up at the crack of dawn feeling drowsy and discombobulated. Having said that, when I'm in a good mood, giving myself a little grin when looking into the mirror can be self-motivating to keep going throughout the day. Okay, so uh, do you, did you look into the mirror a lot as a child? Uh, to be brutally honest, I did. When I was knee-high to a grasshopper, my mom would often make a nice hairdo for me, and I used to spend a while enjoying the way it looked by staring at the mirror. On top of that, as a child, I was really fond of having new clothes bought for me, and I could spend some time standing in front of the mirror looking at my new outfit. I know it might sound a bit egotistical, but I'm utterly convinced that there is a fine line between being arrogant and self-confident. All right, um, so... Uh, is there a mirror that is important to you? Uh, yes, there is a unique mirror glass, which is a family heirloom, if you wish. And although it has some manufacturing imperfections, it looks absolutely round with gorgeous, stunning, beveled edges around its perimeter. It means something to me because it has been passed from generation to generation for over a century in my family. As a matter of fact, it takes pride of place in our lounge. Okay. And also one more question that was reported recently is, do mirrors make good decorations in restaurants? Well, that's quite a tricky. Um, that's, a, that's quite a tricky question, isn't it? Um, I reckon if it is an old style fancy bistro somewhere in the heart of New York or Paris, decorated with mahogany furniture or wallpapers with the images of privet bushes, then yeah, it might be a nice idea. Having said that, other than that, I wouldn't say it's something reasonable. For instance, I don't wanna watch myself eat or when being with another person, I would rather be fully engaged in the conversation than um, look, uh, look at myself in the mirror. All right, so, um, well, thank you for your attention. Please put thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Um, please help me to promote my uh, videos so that more people can, can watch them. Uh, if you want more answers on the topic mirrors and also all other uh, answers and vocabulary lists and lists of ideas for all the speaking topics, and questions for the current season, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash IELTS with Yuri. Uh, the uh, minimum subscription is from $3, three US dollars per month. And uh, for, for, this, uh, for, for this subscription, you get 
all the topics uh, and uh, questions and also vocabulary lists, ideas and answers for all the speaking questions. Um, also my sample essays and some materials for preparing for reading, uh, li listening um, and also writing. All right, well, thanks again for, for your attention and see you in the next video.